Hello, welcome to this video. On this occasion, we're going to learn how to make a spore syringe from a spore print. For this purpose, we are going to need the following items. Most of these items are very easy to find, except for the spore print. So, if you want to get a spore print, check the link in the description. We'll start by disinfecting the work area with alcohol. Then, we disinfect our hands. Finally, we disinfect the flask where we will put the distilled water. After waiting about 5 minutes for the alcohol to take effect, we proceed to load distilled water into the flask. The amount of water we will use will depend on the number of syringes we want to make. A medium-sized spore print can easily make 3 to 5 syringes. Then we close the jar. And then place a metal lid on the bottom of the pressure cooker, so that the jar is not in direct contact with the heat. Add 1 to 2 inches of water inside the pressure cooker. Then place the jar inside the pot and close the lid. Finally, bring the water to a boil for about an hour and a half. After that time has passed, turn off the heat and let the pressure cooker cool for at least 8 hours. After we sterilize our flask, it's necessary to open it in a totally sterile environment. In order to do this, I'm going to place a cooking pot on the stove, load it with some water, and bring it to a boil. The boiling water will create a hot stream of steam that will prevent contaminants from entering the jar. Another way to do this is to turn on the oven and work on the oven door, taking advantage of the heat flow emitted by the fire. You can also use a glow box or a laminar flow hood. Once the water is boiling and throwing steam, we open the lid of the flask inside the steam flow. Then open the syringe and remove the cap. Once this is done, we take the spore print and start scraping the spores with the tip of the syringe. As the spores come out, we deposit them in our flask. You can take some water from the flask with the syringe and wash the spore print to remove them more easily. Keep removing the spores, remember to always work within the steam flow. Once all the spores from the print have been extracted and deposited in the flask, close the lid and shake to mix the spores well. Then open the lid again and proceed to extract the water. Before I do that, I'm going to sterilize the tip of the syringe with a blowtorch. Then, I slowly suck the spore solution out of the flask. Once this is done, dry the tip of the syringe with cotton and cap the syringe. We now have our spore syringe. We just need to let the spores hydrate for 24 hours before we can use it. You can also store it in the fridge to keep it for a long time. To do this, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and wrap it in aluminum foil to keep it away from the light. But I'm not going to do that as I plan to use it in the short term. As you see, making your own spore syringe is not that difficult. However, if you want to skip all this process, you can buy premium spore syringes by visiting the link in the description.
That's all for today. In another video I will use this syringe to grow some mushrooms. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see how I do it.